As the world turns, everyone notices the obvious things which sit in front of them. But it's the things which are hidden and the things that people don't notice which cause the biggest problems. Sometimes there is a subtle boiling under the surface of what is visible, with people placed into either physical captivity or emotional captivity. And when people aren't aware of what is coming, it hits them even harder when it arrives. Alright, another late vlog. So, my target here is to actually get both advent calendars on camera today because obviously yesterday I messed up heavily. So, let's try and get them both on now and I'm gonna have some chocolate. <laughs> right, white chocolate calendar is being recorded. I haven't even had my lunch yet. Yeah, I'm just having them anyway. Oh bloody hell, it's double figures already, number 10. Day 10. <laughs> okay, well, I broke up some that I didn't mean to. Oh well, it's a Christmas tree, yay! And dairy milk up here. What we got? Santa, oh no it's not, it's a snowman, I thought it was Santa. It's a snowman! <laughs> so I'm just exporting my video, it's the one yesterday's, which is day nine. And now I'm gonna make some food. But the interesting thing is, this massive parcel from my mum's just come in the post and I know exactly what it is <laughs> because it's something which is blatantly obviously a picture or like a canvas or something like that and I've recently just asked for a canvas so I'm pretty certain that, that I know exactly what that is. It's all getting very exciting. I need to actually sit down and do some Christmas shopping but today I am also going out because I need to go into college and pay for my London trip because the day after my birthday we are going to London with the college and it's going to be very fun but I've got to pay for it so today I have to go in and pay for it because it's the deadline today and I totally forgot to do it and then after that I'll come home and then I think after when I come home I'll probably sit and do some Christmas shopping online and get everything I need to online then tomorrow I am going to my brother's grave and I want to be open and honest about stuff like that and th that tomorrow's video is kind of based around that one and it looks very out of place and different compared to some of the other ones but I wanted to do that because it's not something that I've done much I know I don't usually go to see my brother's grave at Christmas so it's one something that I really wanted to do and then after that we're going to the match but obviously I don't want to go any further than that because I, I have got plans ahead for the next couple of days but yeah, th there's a lot going on and now I'm going to make myself some food because I'm starving. Our neighbour brought us a Christmas card. It says number 30 on it. And it's a really pretty card. It says Christmas Sparkle. Best wishes to you all. Love from Sandra. I don't know who that is obviously because they just, they're just one of our neighbours and we don't really engage with those. But it's pretty. it's a very nice thought. So I've just got off the bus. It feels really weird going into college on a Friday because I haven't done that for a while. <laughs> it's a nice sort of temperature today. Well, for me, I know a lot of people will be like, oh, it's freezing, but I like the cold weather because I'm ginger, so. <laughs> also, when I was on the bus, I just instantly had a massive eureka moment and I was started buying tons of presents. And I think now it's clicked in my head what sort of stuff I need to buy people. So I'm getting there now. Yeah, it's just, I've, bought, I've bought some pretty cool presents for people so far and I hope it continues. But for now, I've got a long walk and then I'm going to pay for my London trip at college. I've done it now. I've paid off the more bulky payment, which is kind of a way off. At least I don't have to pay that again. It's, I have to pay it one more time, but I've paid the one that's more. So it's not going to be too bad next time. But now I'm walking back the way I came and I've got to get the bus in about five minutes. Just can't wait to get home now. So I've decided to order myself a Domino's because that's always sort of my go-to when I don't really know what to eat. Yeah, it's not far away now. It's about a few minutes away. So I'm just sort of waiting in the kitchen for it a knock on the door. I was gonna do some work as soon as I got home, but I just felt like I had no motivation and I'm gonna sort it on Sunday. Cause it's due on Tuesday, so I've got the time, but Sunday I'll just have nothing really to do. So I'm just gonna spend that day working on that. 
that. But tomorrow will be pretty fun. I'm um, going to the match, so that'll be good. Not as fun a morning, but never mind. I'll, at least I'll feel like I'm doing something good. But yeah, I'm just waiting for my dominoes, and then I'm going to eat that. <laughs> Yeah, I knew there would be two leaving. I, I kind of guessed that there would be two going on one night because there was one too many for the final to be on Sunday, so because it was, there had to be two leaving, so... Yeah, I, oh, just hope Danny sa I hope Danny's safe. I really hope Danny's safe. I reckon my ideal final three is Danny, David and Matty because I really genuinely feel like... I don't mind any of those three winning. Obviously, Danny's my favourite. I've always loved him, but yeah, I think any of those three winning, I'd be happy. Matty did the trial and got six stars, which is great. Well done, Matty. I feel like he's earned a place to stay in the castle, but we'll see what happens. I don't know if he will. So they're about to reveal which two people are leaving. Oh, it's not Frankie. Simon. It might be you. It's not Simon. Who is it? Oh, it might be Matty. So Matty's one of them then. Danny. It's not you. Not you. Yes, Danny's still there. David. It's not you. It's not you. So Adam. So it's Matty and Adam. It's Matty and Adam. It's both of them. Both of you. So there we go, Matty and Adam are next to go, so the final four are Danny, Simon, David and Frankie. <sighs> uh, that's a pretty decent final four to be fair, that's a pretty decent final four. Yeah, Cyclone is tomorrow night, the best part of I'm a Celebrity and I'm so excited for that. But there, Matty and Adam are about to leave, so 